and lead us in the first performance ever of the American Symphony by Glenn Holland. Get up right now. I'm gonna cut one of your piano strings. <laughs> what time is it? Quarter to seven. A quarter to seven. Vice Principal Walters. Holy you look lost, Mr. Holland. Helen Jacobs, remember, I hired you. Oh. Well, you know, like most people, I only got my teaching certificate, so I have something to call back on, and now I have advising. Can I ask when I'm supposed to be doing this advising? My name is Mr. Holland. This, of course, is a title of courtesy. Uh, welcome to Music Appreciation. This is a class in which we will be studying the, the history of music. Music. What do they think that music is in, in general? What do they think? Anybody? Nobody? good. Why did you become a teacher? Oh, actually I started teaching because I was hoping it would give me some free time to do some composing. I'm a composer, that's what I really do. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Oh, the free time. I think this is going to be a lot rougher gig than I originally thought. Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, Miss... I'm sorry. Lang? Pardon me? Lang. Gertrude Lang? And I think... I think maybe you and I should find some time to work on an individual basis. That would, that would be great. Well, why don't you come in about a half hour before first period tomorrow and we'll just start and... Okay. these answers one by one until you get them right. The teacher has two jobs. Fill young minds with knowledge, yes, but more important, give those minds a compass so that that knowledge doesn't go to waste. Now, I don't know what you're... I don't know what I'm going to do. They just sit there staring up at me. There's no there there. I've been trying to teach... What? I'm pregnant. What's this called? Lovers Lovers in the chair. Chair. Who wrote it? The toys. Wrong. That was Minuet in G. And it was written by Johann Sebastian Bach. And see if you can hear the connective tissue between what I just played and this. <laughs> because playing music is supposed to be fun. It's about heart. It's about feelings and close your eyes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, 
don't stop playing. Mrs. Jacobs, you tell them that I am teaching music and that I will use anything from Beethoven to Billie Holiday to rock and roll if I think it'll help me teach a student to love music. What do you know about marching bands? Pardon me? Four, three, two, set! side and baritones and and saxes here third line well then help me out you see this kid up in the stands here that's lou russ you get him to play anything and i'll get them to march Congratulations, you found the beat. Because Beethoven couldn't hear, the thought of him conducting, or let alone, and so to answer them, he composed and conducted the Seventh Symphony. Mr. Holland? If he couldn't hear, how would he even know what the notes were? Beethoven wasn't born dead. Lewis's gifts live in each of us. Let us burn bright his spirit, his courage, his love. Amen. Amen. So, uh, who's the, who's the one, uh, you know, 
There's some kid I taught to bang a drum named Willie Russ. He made the state wrestling finals three years running. He was never as smart as you are. He had to work real hard, even to graduate. Maybe that's why it meant so much to him. Costumes one set. Much cheaper than... I know this is going to bother some of you, but I think we have to consider cutting the senior class play altogether this year. Are you not? I think I can guarantee that this year's show will make money. music is. You could help me to know it better, but no. You care more about teaching other people than you do about me. I would like to dedicate this song to my son, Cole. Close your eyes. Have no fear, the monster's gone, he's on the run, and your daddy's here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful boy. Life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful boy, beautiful, 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 cold. Each school in the district has been asked to submit proposals on ways of reducing costs by 10% for September what I've decided. The entire music program. And art and drama. Well, congratulations, Gene. You've been looking for a way to get rid of me for 30 years and they finally gave you an excuse. Well, I guess you can cut the arts as much as you want, Gene. Sooner or later, these kids aren't going to have anything to read or write about. No. No, do not misunderstand me. I am not talking about my job. I am talking about the education that students once got at Kennedy High versus the education that you people are willing to give these kids today. We have been going over and over this, Mr. Holland. We've done all we can. Then do it again. You know, the big problem here is that you people are willing to create a generation of children who will not have the ability to think or create, or I, listen. Mr. Holland, Mr. Holland, as I've said, we've done the best that we can. Your best is not good enough. It's almost funny. I got dragged into this gig kicking and screaming, and now it's the only thing I want to do, and... You work your whole life. Now, what is that? Um, I don't know. What, you can hear what's going on in the auditorium? Oh, yeah, I, I, I hear it. Well, there's something going on here. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be...
far beyond riches and fame. Look around you. There is not a life in this room that you have not touched. And each one of us is a better person because of you. We are your symphony, Mr. Holland. We are the melodies and the notes of your opus. And we are the music of your life. Mr. Holland, we would now like to give something back to you, to you and to your wife, who along with you has waited 30 years for what we're about to hear. If you will, would you please come up here and take this baton and lead us in the first performance ever of the American Symphony by Glenn Holland.